Good morning, it's Tuesday, March 12th. We woke up, same place we're getting unloaded. Had two trucks pull in, I guess. Well, I know what time this guy pulled in because he's got one of them fancy backup alarms. And at 2 a.m., he just and he didn't know where he wanted to park, so he just kept going forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. And then he decided that right next to me was where he wanted to shut it down. Uh, so that was nice. Yesterday, I was 15 minutes late to get unloaded. 15 minutes and uh. Like, it all works out how it's supposed to. And so I was able to go for a walk and see a lot of Glendale. But he did tell me that he gets in at 6.45. I can start on tarping at 6, which is 18 minutes from now. But now that this goofball is parked right next to me, I've got to pull up so that I can take my tarp off. I had a surprise waiting for me whenever I, I woke up and looked outside. Oh, lighting? That bag, that bag, that 12 pack of Coke Zeros. How the heck did you know where I was at? I'm not exactly visible to them I don't like I took pictures of my truck parks parked against this brick wall anyway it says Joe finally glad I got caught you in Glendale sucks to hear you made it 15 minutes late to get unloaded but you got to see some of Glendale's scenery enjoy the content you upload keep it up and don't let the bad times take you over nope don't let the bad days take over best wishes to you and family be safe on the road, ready to go trucking. Oh, and never from the same row, Brian Larios, Glendale. Dude, thank you, man. It's pretty wild. Oh, wait, there's, there's a separate note in this bag? Because Brian got... Jeez, hang on a second. Hang on a second here. Oh, my. So Brian went grocery shopping for me. We got a oh, water. Let's go. Uh, skinny boy winter is back. And then we got another bag. Oh. oh. I did not see this. Dude. I love police patches and firefighter patches. Heck yeah. Who's, <laughs> who left this? We got smokestacks. All right, let's see here. Hey Joe, grifting seems a bit slow lately, so I thought I'd help the Bob fleet out. I also thought you would like a couple more patches. One is from work. Next time you're in town, you should go on patrol with me. We'll pull over every flat better that has straps over the tarp and throw them in jail. Oh boy, please ignore my tarp job currently. The other patch is from where I volunteered, the Civil Air Patrol. A big thanks to Brian who just rolled up and gave me a pen because <laughs> mine sucked. <laughs> Jeez. The Bob Fleet is out in force in Arizona. Take care and stay safe, Jared. P.S. Tarp job is 10 out of 10. Dude, Jared, man. Jared and Brian both showed up at the same time. Grifting has never been more back. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Jared left the 12 pack of Coke Zeros in the smokestacks. Oh, man. You guys are so stealthy.
Okay, I've got the tarp off, rolled up, put away. If that ramp right there didn't have such a slope, I'd take off at least two of the straps, but I think I'll leave all three on each coil to play it safe. One thing is for sure, I have an air leak somewhere. Like normally when I wake up in the morning, I have about 90 PSI left. And this morning it was down to 60 something. So that's not good. But I'm trying to get back to the yard and hopefully they can fix it there. Yesterday Pete had a pre-plan for me but then when I told him I couldn't get unloaded, he was like, oh, we might have to change your loads now or something. So I don't know where I'm going next. Got about 15 minutes before he said he shows up. Between you and me, when I edited my video yesterday for my reset, I was not happy with what I look like because of the fat. And I'm not saying I'm going to change it or eat better or exercise more. Just letting you know, I am disgusted with myself. Also, I have a bald spot. I had no idea. Why don't you guys tell me? I changed my mind. I took, I took two straps off of each coil. So I just got the middle one holding it down. Should be enough. Should be here in five minutes, which means nothing to you because time is irrelevant. Well, the good news is the daycap boys are backing into bays, so hopefully that means we are close. He opened the door and he gave me a thumbs up, but my air was really low again. This sucks. Oh man, what is this? We got a flatbed in reverse with low air. This is not good. This is very dangerous. We need to call somebody. Like a mechanic. Do you need a pen? Oh, yeah. I'm back. I didn't realize I left you guys on. He's done already. You unloaded both of them. So the thing I hate about these loads is that tarping them sucks. But once you get here, it takes like that and you're unloaded. Kind of makes me wish that I could have just got it done yesterday, but we don't need to dwell on the past. I need one of you guys to find my air leak ASAP though. no snitch or nothing but pretty sure our tarps are supposed to cover the entire coil bob fleet though all right so i'm unloaded <clears throat> now i'm gonna put in my empty call figure out where pete wants me to go it's 702 office time so he just probably sat down oh man look at this temptation i went like three months without grifting and then it's just like an avalanche in the span of 24 hours. Nice. I love you guys. So I guess old Sneaky Pete there sent me a new load yesterday when I wasn't looking. And I didn't check this morning. I... So let's go get it. Okay, our 16 hour time in Glendale was very nice. But now we gotta go. A half a reset. Three quarters of a mile, turn left on West Camelback Road.
ways it's all. We are in Phoenix, Arizona. And I just checked in and I'm going over to where the loading area is. This is a very short load. Not going far, but it is setting me up allegedly to go north because I need to get to the yard so they can fix my trailer. Actually, my trailer needs to be inspected too. We have discussed the dynamics of this load. Uh, that was just fancy way of saying he's gonna start loading me now. And I just asked him like a little puppy. I was like, can you center load it please? And he said, yes, no problem. So, I love all the dust in here. I like it when the sun comes in at the right angle and it illuminates all the dust. Doesn't bother me a bit. Birds got Saquon Barkley yesterday. That was pretty cool. I'm all strapped and loaded. Do you want to look at it? Also, I, I worked my whole trailer. I cannot hear an air leak anywhere. I have no idea where it's coming from. Annoying though. Okay, I am all, you already saw that I'm loaded. I gotta run over to this Loves and get fuel because I am at like a quarter tank and that's not good. You guys ready? Let's go. West Latham Street, then take the second left. Turn right, then take the first left. Phoenix, Arizona. Fuel time. And guess what? I am not even going to complain a little bit about how this guy next to me obviously went in the store and that pump is wide open now and I'm not gonna say a word about it what do you guys want to talk about I have good news I just called to confirm my appointment for this Home Depot I'm delivering to and he said that, oh, it's in Southern California. And he said that I can park there overnight. And that's good because their options would have just been the side of the freeway crying. Why, but sometimes they want to see your papers, your bill of lading, and sometimes they just wave you on through. I'm not mad at getting waved on through, that was very nice. Transponder works today.
Dear God in heaven, don't do it. What is this? Oh, this is not good. What we got here is a flatbed in reverse. Without prior authorization from Congress. We got to call somebody. This is not good. Call Beyonce. Call 50 Cent. Call Mary Lou Retton. Oh my God, he made it. We are in Coachella, California. I am going to take a shower for sure. And if the laundry room is empty, I might do laundry. But let me see what the shower situation looks like first. Three available, let's go. Oh, good news. They have three washing machines, they all work, and they're not being used. So, it's gonna be laundry day, let's go. All right, I have taken a shower and my clothes are in the dryer. We're so close to being back to square one. I don't think that's what I meant to say. So I got another hour until that is done and then we can keep going. Looks like I got enough time to get in a little NBA 2K. I won. I just read a comment today from the last video, or two videos ago, and one of you guys were like, did you stop exercising? And I just started laughing, because I'm like, that's just like a polite way of saying, you're fat. That's totally fine. You're right, I am fat. But I'm fat with clean clothes now. Hey, look. Hey, look. Ugh. Laundry's done. It'll get put away sometime, not right now. Because we gotta go. Are you ready to continue our trucking adventures? I know I am. I heard a rumor today that me and Jesse are jerks and our trucks go 72 miles an hour. And that's the only way we're able to get the miles we get. Uh, none of that's true, but I'd love to just fan the flames of that. So I can't go 72 miles an hour, I do 75. I'm the only truck, like, they give me special, special treatment. Let's go. All of that took two hours and 11 minutes. It's not bad. It's a little breezy here. I don't know if you can see how dusty it is up ahead. Transponder did nothing. Technology rules. Escondido, California. This 
is where we're delivering in the morning. Hey. What's up? Sam. Yeah. Are you hungry? I'm starving. That's good because I was gonna let you buy me dinner right now. Uh huh. I like to do this fun thing where I ask my good friends on the internet, uh, I'll ask you guys some questions. Are you ready? Yep. Your thoughts on Palestine? Joe Biden or Donald Trump? I'm hungry. <laughs> hey Sam, I hope you don't expect me to pay for any of this. I know. Perfect. We're gonna get along just fine. And this is healthy? Yep. Vegetables? Vegetables. Gross. Grow up. Sam? Joe. The lighting in here is terrible. I only produce content in 4K. We're back. Fuck it. I'll bleep that part out. <laughs> Do you, um, so you paid for dinner? I did. You think that's supposed to impress me? You're rich? Yeah. You can afford wings and things? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought maybe I'd get a little lucky after, but... Okay. You had too many carrots. <sighs> all right. Sorry about that. It's all right. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. I love hey, you. Thanks for coming. Love you too. Nice, dude. Yes. There's, I have a feeling that this is not going to be my most enjoyable night of sleep. And that's totally fine. I'm a flat better, Bob Fleet. Anyway, I, <clears throat> okay, heel. I just went ahead and took up, took off all the straps and put them away and everything. So tomorrow, all I gotta do is get unloaded and then leave. This video is over. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. If Cujo would shut up for 10 seconds, I could tell you the orientation's on Monday. <laughs>